city. Manhattan Island. 25 square miles of crowds, concrete, crime so cold they'd wither the soul and freeze the blood. Millions exist here, walking streets that may swallow them whole or spit out their bones. Locked away for the better part of 15 years, you've got no choice but to rely on those closest to you to watch out for your interests outside. In my absence, my son was given the keys to my kingdom, placing his trust in those who claimed my allegiance. As it turned out, it was a decision both of us would come to regret. And on the streets of New York City, regrets are measured in bullets. No, man. I swear. Oh, fuck out. No. Yo, why are you cheating? Give me some audible, dog. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. You need to get up on it. Both y'all niggas need to shut the fuck up. talking about, nigga? Your boy's fucked up, Calf. My pops is still alive. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Nostalgia Trip. We are playing True Crime New York City, an amazing game released back in 2005. And I was going to do Streets of LA and this together in one video, but I've seemed to have lost my Streets of LA disc, so we're stuck with this one for now. I will do Streets of LA in a future video though, so don't worry. And at least we get to take our time and uh, not rush through it as much as if we were doing both games in one video. So yes, a very underrated game. Uh, I remember even when it came out, the reviews weren't... They weren't negative per se, but they weren't that good either. I think it was um, slated for its bad driving physics and uh, sort of, yeah, very unpolished feel. But at the same time, it is so much fun and has such charm to it as well. And a rather impressive cast as well. I think if I remember correctly, it's got uh, Lawrence Fishbourne in it, who was that guy narrating at the beginning. Who plays Marx's father? And no, not Gary Oldman. Um, Christopher Walken as well. He's in it as well. Uh, yeah, Gary Oldman was in the first one, Streets of LA. And I do love this intro sequence set in the snow. It's a shame you can't play more of it during Christmas. Oh well. So I'll quickly finish to finish off these guys, and then we'll uh, trigger the cutscene, and then get on with progressing our way through it. Oh, that was awesome. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Oh, shit. Till I brought you in. <laughs> you just like your old man. You always go get played, nigga. <laughs> Too. 
Motherfuckers with no loyalty don't deserve to live. Jesus Christ. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, okay, I'll take care of it. Don't owe me nothing. Marcus, I helped raise you, and this is not how I expect to be repaid. Look, you can't keep doing this. You've had some scratches before, but this one, we're talking about one big fucking band-aid. It's the last time I'm saving your ass, so you better do exactly as I say, or you're on your own, forever. All right, man. Now get the fuck out of here, kid. Merry Christmas. remember when you couldn't even wipe your own ass without my help, hotshot, so don't get cocky. You ain't a detective yet. Come on. You know I'm going to blaze through those qualification tests like that. Oh, you in that much of a hurry to get out of my unit. L Lieutenant Dixon, nah, I was just... Save it. I'm happy for you. You're going to make a hell of a detective. Well, hurry up and polish your badge or you're going to be late. this <laughs> gangsters dressed as cops huh it ain't halloween terry we talked about this victor my contract remember? god damn terry you know i don't like greenhorns in my marcus head. has been on a beat for four years now just aced all the cic stuff yeah yeah, it's all yeah. Down. remember he's your responsibility Comprende? you got it vic this is it kid all you got to do is pass huh don't shoot yourself in the foot, huh? Son, this is your CIC detective qualifications test. You want your gold shield? You're gonna have to make me smile. This is the combat test. See those practice dummies? Let's start with some light jabs, shall we? Okay, I think the uh, number pad is the controls. Uh, yes, it is. Now the controls are really awkward at first, but I guarantee you will get used to them the more you play it. Now show me some slower, more powerful strikes. Now keep it moving! Next area! If you're surrounded, use your radial attack. Knock them back! This move can save your ass in almost every fight. You just do this, and every character will always fall straight to the ground. It's awesome. Okay. Easy. Indeed. That's a lot of body armor, look at that. <laughs> right, um... We'll shove him. And the stealth also highly improved in this game as well. It's actually quite fun compared to Street Savello. And then normally. The lethal takedowns are actually brutal. You can actually like snap people's necks in half and all that. Right. Whoa. So far so good. Oh, that was a bit more brutal than I intended to do. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Oh dear. So I'm going to grab them and do a special move quickly. Oh yeah. So the the, um, the melee is actually highly improved over the streets of LA as well. You can also learn different martial arts like Taekwondo and uh, kickboxing, karate, all sorts. And I'm pretty sure we passed that. Very nice result, son. Yep. That's what I like to see. This is the run and gun course. I want you to move over to that area marked with the caution tape. You ready, rookie? First. All right, smart guy. 
I've got to say, the gameplay really is, you know, it feels quite polished and responsive. I think this is the driving that a lot of people didn't like. You know, the driving is quite dodgy, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Right. Wow. No, I never use grenades in this game. But they seem pretty effective. Yeah, I love doing this. And you can also get some pretty um, awesome headshots as well during missions. Get a red and you get a nice headshot. We are earning this test. Okay. Try and avoid any uh, civilians which come off in, in yellow, I think. Yeah, them. Let's try and avoid them. Whoa, no, not that one. And we're done. Easy peasy. Nice shooting, officer. You pass with flying fucking colors. Happy? I am. Okay. So long you can show me you can drive. You just might get your shield. Now get your sorry ass in the car so we can okay. Step on the gas. Okay. The famous true crime driving physics. Whoa! I mean, it's not that bad. It's just very uh, light and floaty. Oi! Now, let's do it this way. Whoa! Hold on. I couldn't figure out what lock-on was, so, yeah. That's how you do it. Okay, so far so good. And we're done. Train ride. On my salary. So you're kidding, right? Looks like you still have both feet, kid. Was I fucking right about this guy or what? Denzel ain't got nothing on you, kid. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Terry. How hard is it to shoot a target? I want you to take him into the streets, see if he can handle himself in plain clothes and deal with real perks. Do the whole drill. Otherwise, no shields. Comprende? Okay, boy wonder. Time to kiss your costume goodbye. Grab your street gear. Then pick up an unmarked cruiser at the garage. I'll meet you outside. Yo, I got your boy wonder right here. Okay, let's go and get some street clothes on. Um, I'll try and... Uh, hold on. I think this guy waves at you if you go close up to him. Yeah. <laughs> I love doing that. Um... Yeah, we'll try and uh, go and get a haircut and uh, get a change of clothes and try and do as many of the features as we can. Maybe even buy a car if you've got enough money. Um, okay. Hello, 
detective. What can I do for you? And out we go to the streets of New York. Hey, Terry! Que no te gusta la comida de mi mujer? Better to search the verdad, Manny. No, but we'll talk later. Alright, kid, let's cruise. Talk to your father lately? Nah, man. I saw him a couple of weeks back. He wanted to see you. Yeah. Well, Pop can call me if he wants to. Besides, he ain't the one out here watching my back. Ah, oh, come on, Marcus. We're practically family, right? Right. All right, now let me see you drive, huh? Here, check your GPS. You think you can beat the clock? Then step on it. Smoke six. Man, I got to dip the fuck out. So much to go to New York in about two weeks' time. And I can't wait. I love New York How so much. Using that siren, huh? Wait, hold on. Why is the arrow pointing? Oh, hold on one second. Uh, fixed radar. That's what we want. No, no, we don't want that. <laughs> Sorry, we don't want fixed radar. We want road tree. That's what we want. Sorry about that, guys. It confused me a little bit. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to New York in about two weeks' time. Can't wait. I've been there, I think, five times before. Normally at Christmas. We normally go there when it's freezing cold. But now I'll be going there when it's sunny, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like then. Uh, yeah, I love New York to bits, and that's why I play many games that are set in New York. <laughs> All right, Boy Scout, you're making good time. Definitely my favorite city. Uh, especially in America, anyway. Whoa. Merda. And we have arrived. Okay, you made it. Just pull up and get out of the car. Oh, come on, Terry. Don't make me jump through these hoops. Just go through the motions, kid. Keeps Navarro off our backs, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep your phone on. I'll run you through a few basics. Ah, <sighs> this bit's quite fun. What the hell are you waiting for? All right, let's see your frisking hunches. Pick three males and pat them down for contraband. Okay. Oh man, why you gotta violate your people's homie? I don't know about you guys, but I spent hours just walking around the streets frisking people. Sorry, I hey, it's quite addictive. Damn, nothing. And it's a good way of getting yeah. evidence and stuff as well. Cut me some slack. Will this change you can also mind? accept bribes like this, but we are not going to do that. Good going. Next I want to see you inspect a car. Walk over to the parked car over there and pop its trunk for me. Okay. Hey, looks like you found something. You know, I heard some cops sell the stuff at the pawn shops. But you're gonna vouch for it at the precinct, right? Whoa, look at these guys. We got a few hard cases. Well, you should already know there are different types of perps. There are the unarmed types. Shooting these guys is a definite no-no. Then there are the perps armed with a bat or a knife or something. Save your bullets unless absolutely necessary. Or my favorite, the Jokers that are back in heat. It's open season on them. Whoa, what's going on over there? The badge doesn't do the trick. You gotta pump some eardrums. Look at that. Boom. Nice shooting. Now put some cuffs on those pricks before they run for it. It doesn't matter how fast you do it, one will always get away, so... No rush. <laughs> Busted. Hey Marcus, are you paying attention? One of your callers is getting away. Come to yourself a car. And chase Whoa! Them down. <laughs> Bastard. The only thing is, you can't actually. Um, Marcus, you need a car. Get in the street and flash that badge. You can't actually um, drive that car. You have to get a separate one, which is really annoying. But it's crashed already, so that's fine. <laughs> that was a really bad car chase. Ah, oh, shit, looks like we got a runner. Alright, look, ditch your car, chase him down on foot. When you get close enough, you tackle his ass to the ground. This game looks really good, actually, for its time. It's really nice and... Oh, no! It's really nice and detailed. One second. That's it. There we Slap go. Slap the cuffs on him and you're done. And training is now complete. Nice work, Marcus. You passed. A+. Plus. Now, let's go see the king. That will 
will be all, Kurt. You been looking after my boy, Terry? Been looking after myself, Pop. How you been, Isaiah? Just doing my time. To what do I owe the honor? Thought you might want to see this. Uh-huh. Seems my boy is no longer just a pawn. Congratulations, son. <laughs> Life's full of irony, isn't it? Higgins. Okay, I'll be there. Well, Isaiah, we gotta cut this short. I'll be seeing you. Kurt, let him out. Oh, uh, you did good, Boy Scout. You know, you're the first new face in OCU in seven years. Yeah. Seems like Navarro keeps that unit pretty tight. Ah, there's a reason for that. We'll talk about it. Some other time, though. Where's the fire, man? Come on, Marcus. This is important. Get your ass in the car. So after all Jesus. this, we're going to try and do some street crimes. Because there's so many to do and they're so much fun. I think my favourite is the one when you get like a rock band smashing up a hotel room. And uh, you've also got like a serial rapist in the area and arsonists. And I think there's one where a bunch of vegetarians try and smash up a, <laughs> a restaurant or something. That one's always good fun. So we'll do all that as soon as we're done with this sort of intro sequence. That was a very quick drive. Jesus. Fuck! Can you tell me what's up with that briefcase? Sure, if you need to know. Nah, man, it's cool. I'm that out in six minutes. You come in, guns blazing. All right. I got your back. Somebody talk to me. No, man. What the hell were you two doing? Hey, man, I don't know shit. Terry went inside. Get him the fuck out of here. You feeling better? Mm, not really. I'm sorry, Marcus. Yeah. Me too. It wasn't your fault. Forensic says it was a gas leak. Bullshit. Look, I know that you and Terry were close, Marcus, but you need to let this go. It's Navarro's business now. He's not going to let you touch it. No more OCU, see you, huh? Oh, maybe one day, but for now, you're back here with me, working street crime. I'm not putting those blues back on. Relax, it's plain clothes duty. You get to keep your shield, as long as you play nice. Fuck that. I need to find out what really happened. Marcus, I'm trying to help you here. Crime has been on the rise all over the city, so please, do me a favor. Get out there and call me some perps, okay? Yes, ma'am. And now we have free Rome unlocked, so uh, just gonna go up here quickly and speak to this guy. God damn, Reed. Terry was the best detective I had. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Uh, well, I do now. Is he standing in the wall? Huh. So yeah, this game is quite glitchy, as you can see, and there's many more of them to come. <laughs> Got some evidence to turn in. Didn't have much to turn in, eh? Well, thanks anyway. Reed. Hello. Okay, the uh, the phone call just glitched out there. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so yes, be prepared for many glitches. Uh, so we just did a secret street crime. I was waiting for a phone call, which was that one, and it uh, it glitched out on me. Okay. Stop, police. 
Oh shit. So we're gonna go and do a bunch of street crimes. What the hell? I'm gonna chase you down and kill you. Okay. So I'm hoping we'll get, um, there's one we get to, like, disarm a bomb. Oh, a rapist as well. We've got a rapist on the loose. So we'll go and deal with him. God damn it. Another good one's also when you get complaints of a, a restaurant um, with food poisoning. And you have to go down there and arrest the chef who's been poisoning the food. There's so many different crimes you can do. So you've got to give credit for that, definitely. Okay. We're going to use our gun. Nope, not, we can use our nightstick, actually. Look, let me go. I'll do anything. I'll give you money. Just please, stop beating me. Why are you doing this to me? I can't get in the room. Please, no way. I'll give you money. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> That's Somebody brutal. Stop that crazy ass bastard. All right, I'm going to... Done. Yo, this is getting really easy. And that's what you do with a rapist. Okay. Didn't even get a thank you. It's a bit rude. Whoa. This car is fast. Might as well. Uh, I think it's this guy here. Yo, what you got there? Nope. Don't let him out. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Whoa, there. Police! Where is he? New York police! Damn it. There he is. Oi. Kill you. You had a right to remain. You know the rest. I couldn't find him there for a second. So I'll tell you what, we're going, we're going to uh, trigger the storyline now, we're going well to talk done, to... That part of town was due for a facelift. Whoa, there. Fuck! Nice. So we'll go and drive all the way down to where Christopher Walken will be. And we'll, do a little, we'll have a little cutscene there. And then we'll get on with the storyline and some crimes. And all that. Whoa! This car is really sensitive. Okay, wrong side of the road. That's my fault. I'll, uh... <laughs> my driving skills are really embarrassing this time around. Okay. We'll... What the fuck? Oh. That's a jump up there. <laughs> um, they're in here. Whoa! He is nuts. Shit. Uh, you punk. He's full on slicing his wife off with a knife. Oh, yeah, Dixon's gonna love me. Oh, standard. Standard crime. Look at my poor car. Yeah, my driving needs a lot of work. So I'll quickly skip ahead to the uh, the bit when I arrive at the cutscene, and we'll go from there. Hello, detective. Gabriel Whiting, FBI. Feds. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Mr. Hotshot, perhaps I should just go home, kick off my shoes, have a nice cup of cocoa, because it sounds like you've got the case figured out. Would I be here if I did? Educate me. Indeed. For the past two years, I've been working with the OCU trying to take down New York's top crime syndicates. But things always go wrong. Stakeouts go cold. Covers get blown. <laughs> Sounds like you just suck at your job. I was on the job when the best part of you was running down your mother's leg, detective, anyway. 
We figured there's got to be a mole in the department. Detective Higgins was onto something. He had evidence. Was ready to name names. That's what he had in that briefcase, huh? So what the fuck happened? There's obviously a conspiracy at play, a setup. I believe you can help me find out who's behind it. Now, how you figure that? Terry Higgins. He asked me to bring you in should anything go wrong. Look, I want to know the motherfuckers as much as anybody. I ain't even got a hunch. I mean, in case Terry didn't mention it, I'm pretty new here. That's why you're perfect, Detective Reed. See, we don't know who's on the take. Anybody could be the bad guy, and that's the catch. You gotta do this alone outside of your official duties. <laughs> no support, huh? You arrest anyone connected with this investigation, I'll make sure they do not pass go. Gather enough evidence on the mold, we will bury him together in a deep, dark cell. Have we got a deal? Where do I start, man? We know that these four crime syndicates have been in contact with the mole. You shake them down, you will find Terry's killer. I've collected some details. Rather scanty, I'm afraid, but they should get you started. Yo, Gabriel. Man, I hate this cloak and dagger shit. Wait. Oops. Um, now, I've forgotten what it is to hail a taxi. I mean, uh, if I press Q, it does it does that, and they'll get out of the car instead. So I think you've got to hold E. There we go. Done. Okay. Here we go. So I got a taxi to make it quicker. Um, it took me ages to figure out you can actually get taxis in this game. It comes in handy because this map is actually really big. Miss Castillo, I need a word with you about the Magdalena cartel. I'm sorry, I am a busy woman. If you're a reporter looking for another... Detective Reed, New York Police. Oh, I see. Look, officer, I've grown weary of talking to the police. No matter how many times I complain about the dealers, nothing is ever done. You just write your reports and yes me away. Well, I ain't like that, lady. I come from the kinds of places you're trying to help. Is that so? Then why is that dealer still up there on the corner? Get him off my street. And I don't mean just shoo him away like your fellow officers. I mean permanently. All right. I think I can do that. Don't you go nowhere. I'll be right back. Hey, homie. Let me holler at you for a minute. Yeah. What you need, man? Same bag? 20 sack? Or ounce? Or what? But you to bounce the fuck out of here and don't look back. Let a cat in? Fuck you! Here we go. As, as a gun, this mission, which is absolutely brutal, it makes people's legs numbs fly off. It's hilarious. Uh, oh. So after we've done this, we could, once we have some more money, we'll go and uh, we'll go shopping, and get some new clothes, maybe get a haircut, and uh, I'm hoping I'll unlock the uh, the underground fight club, which is, is one of the best side missions in the game. It, it's like a a one-on-one -on -one cage fighting thing, and that's really good fun. Well, that's a good gun. Nice one. Oh, nice. Is that a assault rifle. Cool. So we can do this properly. We're gonna. There we go. And we're gonna shoot these quickly. Oh, I just killed a woman. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that was, his legs came off. So shooting in this game, it might feel a bit sort of, as I keep saying, unpolished, but it is so much fun, it doesn't matter at all. So we'll go and collect the evidence. This will help us get more money. Uh, I think there's some more... Well, definitely some more in here. Oh god! That was close. Quite a lot in here. 
but I'm missing some. That's not good. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're fine. We got enough. That Dilly? <laughs> he ain't coming back. You got my word on that. I have to say, you have a rare determination for a cop. You're going to need it. The cartel is an army. You mean the Magdalenas? Magdalenas, the Lords, the Curls. Many names, same source. A major crack processing facility right here in the city. So how do I find it? I've been funding the Smith projects in Alphabet City. I can tell you this. Three times a day, a motorcycle courier supplies the stoop dealers and collects their cash. Sounds like a runner where I'm from. A piece of advice. Grab yourself a motorbike or you'll lose him. He takes a route no police car could follow. I did. So that mission that she was talking about is what I'm going to end on because it's, it's probably one of my favorite missions in the game. Reed, come in. We got an illegal street racing circuit in the city. We know they have scouts cruising the streets in your area, challenging cars to race. I want you undercover on this. Once you get in, stay on it until you get to the champ. I believe he's the one running the show. Now you watch yourself. Good luck. Yeah, the, uh, the races aren't that good, <laughs> so I won't bother doing them. But as I said in that mission, the fight clubs are really good fun. But I've got a feeling we're not going to get around to that in this video. Oh. Oh my God. Crime alert. Let's do this properly, shall we? Get him in the leg. Done. Welcome to government housing. What the hell you trying to pull? So where is this uh, next mission? Oh, that's miles away. No way. No, no way. We are not driving that. We'll just have to get a taxi. <laughs> I'm going to get a taxi back to the police station and hand in some evidence. Get some money. Then I'll go and buy a suit. <laughs> Dispatch to patrol code 1032. Tip received of a stolen car delivery to take place in your vicinity. Don't care. Okay, we'll go. Here we go. Midtown. Where's the... hold on. It dropped me off too early, God damn it. Oh, yes. Okay, we can ignore that. I'm gonna go and get a haircut instead, so... Come in, come in. What do you need, sir? Okay. Can you... No, I don't want to go... Hold on. Need there we go. Trim? You came to the right place. Now, if you need some trim, that's up the street. Let's see what we got here. We could be cliche and go for the mohawk. Um. Not that one. Let's go for the mohawk, and you can then you, ch you can change the color as well, which is awesome. Yep, I'm going for that. <laughs> Why not? You take care now. Oh, uh, okay. So now we've got the mohawk down, we're gonna go and buy a suit to go with it. Now I think there's a shop down the road from here called Mass, which is a spoof of Macy's, which is a famous clothing shop. Um Oh no, it's one here. This isn't a posh one, but it's something at least. Dixon to read. Yo, you Got anything on those street races All right. yet? You need some new gear? Oh, we got a great selection. Um, I think I might just go for uh, this, this, this one for now. You take care now. Cool. All right, let's get on with the game, and we'll go and complete the next mission, and maybe end the video after that because it is. A good place to end, I think. It's a good shootout. Hmm. Looks like 
that old lady wasn't bullshitting. Hold it right there! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know I'm coming after you, right? Skills. Nice wiggy there. So we're just gonna go slow motion and hey, hopefully it'll work. Yes! Give up, the shit is over! Oh you bastard. Now these chases are actually really annoying. Because you, you've got to get perfect act oh no. Because <laughs> they just turn around on you so randomly. And you've got to dive at the right time. Tell you what, let's do it this way. Just a cooker, man. Oh yes. <sighs> Alright, bitch. Tell me where you were taking this, so I'm gonna fuck you better start naming names. Hey, listen to the uh, talk I walk, right? Yo, man. You want this to stop? Talk. Nah, you. Loyalty is over. Yeah, I'm just a yeah. messenger, man. Get your hand off me. I can keep going. None of your Come through. I'll do it. Try me. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Killer. I'm just a delivery boy, okay? Do you want to find Ray? A at his safe house. They're watching a soccer game. I'm supposed to bring them a pizza and. Shit, man, if he finds out I talk, it's Colombian necktie for me, man. My toe slid and my tongue pulled through it. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Cooperation. Now that's what I like to see. Oh man. Yeah, the mission coming up with the whole yeah. with the whole pizza cut scene is awesome. As you will see. What you want? Oye, chico. ¿Qué es eso? It's the pizza. Chico, that ain't no fucking pizza. Police, get your ass on the floor. Now, the Magdalena's are over. No quiero gente pendejo. That ain't no fucking pizza. Love that bit. Oh, awesome mission. And I'll be sure to collect all the evidence in this mission. Or as much as I can remember, anyway. Uh, oh! There's actually a guy up there as well. <laughs> oh, I got some bad cut points for that. That sucks. I... Please. I have children. Now on my headset, all I can hear are, bu are flies buzzing around my ears. It's really annoying. Oh man. How many flies are there in this place? Wait. She... What? Does he not recognise me right <laughs> Oh. Just sitting on the toilet when I'm right in front of him with a gun. Jump! Good. Whoa! Get a headshot. Boom. So the, the lock-on system is actually really good in this game. It's got some solid shooting mechanics. The melee is not quite as polished, but it is still really good fun. As I said, you can learn Taekwondo, Karate, I think one of them's called Wing Chun and Thai boxing, many different martial arts. Sorry. <laughs> oh well. Happens. Right, we've got a rocket launcher here. I can definitely work with this. And some evidence here. Nice. Now we're gonna get another one, because that'll come in handy. Where's that last piece of evidence? Damn it, that's really annoying. Oh well, I've got four out of five, that's fine. Someone wants to trip me up. 
Okay. Careful. So I gotta deal with you myself? No problem. The rocket What's launcher the makes everything you so much easier. Ready? Boom. <laughs> That's nearly the whole boss fight over in one shot. So all we gotta do is shoot the letters off. Get a new gun. And we are done, nearly. Now we're done. You're the head of the Magdalena cartel, so you better start talking or they're gonna sting Stoney. Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> What's up now? I'm looking at some job. Magdalena Cartel. I think you're confused, my friend. Talk to me. Christ, man, you must be smoking rock. I am king of the Latin lords. <laughs> you can play, my friend. Magdalena's been using you to take out their competition. They are real sneaky like that. Less than Today. Let's knock him out, shall we? And then walk through a door, and the mission is complete. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here in front of this true crime Streets of LA billboard. <laughs> um, I'll be back with this game, uh, Streets of LA, in a future video once I find it or buy a new copy. But yeah, this game is awesome. Definitely underrated. Police inspection. And it is a shame True Crime 3 never happens, but on the plus side, we did get Sleeping Dogs instead, so that's fine. But yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next episode of Nostalgia Trip. Take care.